Good day folks, my name is Jason Lenson and welcome to Jason's Northern Outdoor Adventures. We're back out on the trails again today. We're, uh, it's actually nearing on the end of trapping season now. I haven't done many trapping videos this winter. We've done a bit the fall. We had a few beavers and that down there, a few muskrat. I uh, only put out probably not even a dozen traps close to town. I mean with the cost of fuel now and the price of fur, it just wasn't really worth being at. So it was more of a labor of love, so I just put out a few around. Ended up with, uh, I think it was five or six marten, a couple of mink, a few foxes. Enough to send a bit off to auction anyway, say I was at it. So today we're down taking the traps up. Shouldn't take too long, like I said, I haven't got a big lot out, but uh, we're going to try to make a little bird hunt out of it. Might even have a little fire. Temperatures are warming up, spring is in there. A little bit of snow, I think we're up around, was it minus eight, nine? I think we're up around today. We haven't seen these temperatures in months, so. Soon be speedo weather, but I never, I never quite got my body in shape for that yet, so that's gonna have to wait another month or so. It should be good. <laughs> Stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Coming down, taking up the traps, and uh, nice to see there's still a bit of fur around for next year. Down, down on the bank. Lots of rabbit tracks and squirrel tracks and ptarmigan tracks. Play a couple of nice sized rabbits when I get there. Big prints. Not true. What a beautiful day. There's Mr. Weasel. Wait. <laughs> one in after year. I think the old box is getting in hard shape too now. Ah, bait is gone. Usually uh, takes all the bait out of the boxes, takes the trap out of it, because a lot of times bears will come by and I guess they'll still smell it, but I found if I took the bait out of it, they didn't tear up as many. Because uh, in previous years I went back and I had the majority of them tore down when I left bait in them, especially when I was using fish. Strong smell, I guess. But this year I was using beaver. That fellow wanted to feed a beaver. Just pulled up to the cabin here now. We're going to be here for the night. We're going to get in and get the fire going. Get everything dug out and everything set up. We're going to head on out for another ride yet. The grand total for today's check was one weasel. That's it now for the season. Like I said, I didn't do much trapping this year, but uh, hopefully next year I'll definitely be uh, getting back on the trails. Never knows when we get lucky. Price of gas might go down to something half sensible. <laughs> I definitely got to get back out and get out a bit more again next year. So we're going to get in now, get the fire going, and get her warmed up so we can get back on the go. First, when we put this cabin there, we. Uh, had some legs there for a table, so I just slapped together a top there pretty quick. And how old was the young fellow then? What was he, four? Five. So uh, his mother was cleaning up there one day and wanted something to keep him occupied, so we gave him a bit of painting that we found, and this is what he made. So of course we uh, eventually got a new table on that for here, and I couldn't bring myself to throw it out, so we just took it and screwed it up on the wall. And that was a picture. <laughs> Oh, the little things in life, ain't it? I'm get the little chains out now. See, we're going through this burn over here. We're gonna get a load of wood. We're gonna get a load of wood. We'll, we'll get enough wood for a boil up anyway. I got a chainsaw bag ordered, but shopping bag's gonna have to do for today. <laughs> 
Nice little change, huh? <laughs> You're praising her up. I can't get her down like. Oh boy. There you go. Down like. Rolls up a bit. Oh, perfect. Little eBay jobby. I wanted a smaller one that went over and priced the stills and the Husqvarna and that and they were seven, eight hundred bucks. So I went on eBay and found this little Chinese jabby. Paid a hundred bucks for it, chipped to the door. That's what, five years ago, six years ago? That's after cutting truckloads. Haven't had any issues with it. Oh, my jaw got a book. pond now nice little cove there's a few holes left there like i said from the other day and we were here just going to see if we can get down through now with the axe and get a couple of hooks down get a fire going and roast a weenie Three points. Yeah, froze, froze a good three, four inches last night. Holding that cold, but I guess it was cold enough for that. Get the hooks out. Wait for five of diamonds. You can take all of their hooks off the shelf. That's the old faithful for her. You know, I've been fishing before and we lost the five of diamonds for different reasons. Did she stop fishing? <laughs> <laughs> That's no lie. Putting this smell on my hands now. They're sitting in the garage all night. Whew. using the tail part of the shrimp just leave a little bit of shell on it put the hook right through the shell and when that's jiggling it actually looks like the tail of a fish and catch fish now She puts a few longer ones down on the base, stop it from going down through the snow so quick. Puts a couple on the side to fill in the cracks. Light the fire in the middle, pack it up, and you got a nice little flat spot to lay your kittle. It's a fire starter I always got under the seat of my skidoo. Dryer lint. Keep it in a Ziploc bag so it uh, stays nice and dry. That stuff goes like gas. Better than the matches. <laughs> there you go. I guess this is why the 
fire departments is always stressing people should clean up their dryer vents on a regular basis. On a bright side, makes the fire starter. I need a little cup of tea on the go here now. A cup of coffee, actually. Wife was trying to catch the trout, and she couldn't catch him, so I got to, I got to, to show some expertise. <laughs> 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 oh, wouldn't that have been awesome? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, the strut. Tell us who the fisher was. Ah, I got the fisher. Huh? Another one there? I'm gonna hook the noise. I can't pick no. So you your hands here. Oh, she don't want to get no trout on her seal skin mitts. Oh. She would love to have when you would like. <laughs> what a beautiful trout. Good eating too. The tree we caught here the other day we had for supper when we went up and they were blood red and really tasty. Yeah, man. It was a wall that we got. I thought I was going to catch him for you then. She got her fish. We got one trout. We got a couple more home in the fridge. So we're going to take them out together and fry them up some day of the week. We're heading back over to the cabin now. We're going to stoke the fire and get a little quick warm up. And then we're going to head out on the trails for a ride. spring in next to a fellow's cabin about two kilometers from mine he got a nice little house put over it and a little pipe net put in there for us to get water i'm not sure if i showed it in any of my previous videos or not but we're definitely going to go for a look now i just had to stop and let you see this I'm sure if the video is going to capture it's how the snow was falling just like christmas makes me want to go home and put up a christmas tree big snowflakes mild temperatures this is beautiful this is what winter's all about right here. So this is one of the conveniences at this cabin. Got our own little water hole there, a little spring. And the folks who got the cabin here keeps this up and allows people to use it. It's a very thoughtful of them. Definitely a wonderful, wonderful thing to have close by. A bit slower there now. The water is usually coming out a bit faster than that, but I guess spring tide right around the corner.
to do the contest giveaway. It's going to be something a little different. We're stuck in Goose Bay. We we're down there doing a smelting trip, an ice fishing trip, and we got stormbound. <laughs> the wind is up pretty good now. The snow seems like it's starting to cut back a bit, but there's 600 kilometers road ahead of us with a lot of open area, so we're not going to chance it. We're going to wait for it all to pass by. We got time on our side, and we're going to head her back tomorrow. So I don't have the stuff here to show what you're going to win, but today is a dry date. So I'm going to do the dry, and as soon as I get back in town tomorrow, we'll pass it along. Get the information and get it forward on to whoever the winners are. I'd like to thank everybody for following the channel and following the contest. It's an overwhelming amount of support. I really do appreciate it. You don't know how much I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't even explain it. So uh, keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks for all of it. So now we're going to get to the dry. What I done, I bring you a little closer. Get my phone opened up here. I got all the names put into this random draw. And it says pick a random name. And the first winner is Frank Clark. Frank Clark is gonna get a hat and a fire starter. Now we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit this again. Random name. Frank Clark and Dion T. I'm guessing it's Dion Temple. So Frank Clark and Dion Temple are the lucky winners of the hat and the fire starter. As soon as I get back in town tomorrow, I'll uh, definitely be in contact with you guys and we'll arrange pick up or shipping. Frank Clark, Dion Temple, congratulations. Once again, thanks for all the support. Without you guys, we would not be able to do this. Till next time, stay safe.